Hey everybody. Well, it's Sunday, about 12.30 on the 26th. want to do a quick thought on Ethereum here for just a minute. I think we got a little bit more up to go. i uh, say about 19.25. Uh, wanted to give a little explanation as to why. Um, trying something a little new with uh, the camera being on. So uh, this is me. I'm James, a Sensei at Trade Devils. So I've been uh, following the Ichimoku cloud quite a bit. And um, you know, my, my contention has always been that we're going to kind of pop right up in here into this little range. And, uh, and eventually we'll work our way back down, something like that. Uh, just simply because, again, I'm just kind of following the cloud. And we can see right now, as of the three day, we came down and we've, we've basically, I had an alert here that had not been hit. Um, but uh, I did take a long position from here. Uh, I'll show you why in just a minute. Uh, we can see the volume is decreasing on the three day and the weekly we are starting to decrease. So uh, I think at some point, again, we're still gonna come up here. Well, notice on the weekly, that right in this little nook, uh, we've got a weekly level sitting right here. Um, I'm going to tell you why 1925 uh, is important now. So let's go over to a larger count here. So as we can see here, I think this area down here, frankly, it's a little suspect. I don't necessarily think it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Um, I'm not ready to to actually call that yet. I'm ready to probably call it something else. You get down to the lower time frames and it and it uh, it looks like something else. I mean there's really low time frames to me show that it's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then all of this is a four. And I know it's enormous compared to the rest, but believe me I know. Um, but this was over a weekend that led into a week of finally, you know, us having some upside movement. So and I'm still not all that prepared to call this a two. This looks like a straight up impulse to me. So um, I also kind of wanted to do something like this where you would put the one actually over here and we had a truncation uh, right there where we actually had a truncation there. Um, that makes sense to me because you get a three wave move, then you get a three wave move, and then we get a five. So either way, um, my gut still says that there's another move up to go. As you can see from here, we broke the base channel of this and but up here we started to hold it um, there's another th slight thing I'm considering here and that this is possible that it's an impulse um, the reason why honestly it does look like a zigzag but if it's a zigzag then that means that this was a truncation because technically the low is here at least on coinbase this is the low so it's entirely possible that it's a one, two, you know, and then we get this big three, four, five. I'm not ready to go there just yet. I don't like truncations, but this does look like a zigzag to me here. So, and I have a count that would work for it, making this actually the, the low off of a truncated move. So anyway, um, I do think that um, here's why I, I took, restart, this is why I took the long here um, honestly, I was expecting another move here. To me, this looked like one, two, one, two, three. Well, where's the rest of it? So, um, it's just a little weird how it worked out, but regardless, um, so I took this low right here when we hit the, the golden zone. <clears throat> and, um, of course, uh, we've got an 80% probability now of hitting the median line. And I just wanted to show you where this is going to come out to be. So golden zone, we have an algo target now. Let's make sure we get all this right on the money here. We've got an algo target of 1917. Okay. And uh, that could be... Our simple our, our fifth right we have an 80% chance of meeting the median line uh, clearly here at the 23 236 this is going to be too quick 
618 could be more in line. This is about March 3rd. So it's entirely possible that our fifth is sitting right here. So and as I was mentioning, well, mentioning with the Ichimoku cloud, you know, if it's 1917, whatever, well, I've got here, you know, up in this area, 1925, 1930. So maybe we get a little pop, you know, beyond it, whatever the case may be. You'll notice with the clouds um, that we tend to wick into it, you know, quite a bit. So as you can see here, we wicked it, wicked it. Here we were a little bit early, but we still, in theory, held it. All right, we held this support right here. So, um, so on the three day, compared to the weekly, you'll see that we, it's very possible we just come up here and wick in that and then drop right back down again. So, um, I would also think that we'll end up with something, you know, so if we're looking at like this, you know, we could end up looking at something like this, coming back down, back through uh, the twist. So as you'll see here, there's a twist, there's a twist. Uh, either that or we hold it, one or the other. Um, you know, actually, the question is, where is, so let's just say if this whole thing ends up being an impulse, all right, so there is a 50 sitting at the twist. That's pretty interesting. If we come up to this 1925 area, golden zones underneath it, we'll have to see what happens later with, with more of it. But anyway, I just wanted to give a quick update on my thought process. Um, what's going on right now? I'm kind of looking at this on the lower time frames from the move off the low. We get our impulse, and it looks like we get a sideways into a B and then we get whoops and then right now I'm just qualifying this as a diag uh, it's all pretty nasty but then again weekend moves are um, but as you can see we are starting to rise again uh, so fantastic if you caught the long at the golden zone so good job um, golden zones are worth taking just about every single time especially on higher time frames uh, this is a six hour golden zone and you'll notice I mean the RSI was starting to aim up you know, by this point, should have been an easy long for anybody to take. So uh, I loaded up pretty good right here. We also held uh, the Vegas waves on the six hour. Um, and just a little piece of advice, um, you know, I tend to keep up uh, several different time framed charts. Um, the higher the time frame is more valuable as far as what it's saying to you, okay? So as we can see here, for instance, on this is a very high time frame. This is the three day. Well, you notice how we're starting to build bearish divergence on the three day. The weekly, eh, not really, but the three day's got some. So we could be expecting another move up, but still create some more bearish divergence. And maybe that's what will give the weekly some bearish divergence if this RSI keeps heading down. So, um, Anyway, these are just uh, just some thoughts. Wanted to let you guys know what I was thinking on Ethereum at this point. Um, I'm looking for this move up to the 1925 range, and then it'll be time to uh, to short it, and bring it down. Uh, here's a, a, a there is another count in here that I've also got for this. Uh, so it would be a one, two, one, two, three, four, and a five. Um, and now we've just put in another four. Um, we kind of miss out on some alternation here, though, with this four. So either way, I, if I've got two different counts that are telling me there's another move up, I'll take it. So I do think we have another move up at 1925 range. So um, anyway, have a great afternoon. Um, trade safe. Remember, keep your, stops, uh, keep your stops close. Don't move them. And enjoy yourself. That's what we're here to do is enjoy yourself and make a little bit of money. Take care.